title that I typically will put at the top of every single Excel spreadsheet yeah. that I put in here. And it's not that big of a deal, but it just is that I have to do it every time. Right. Is there some way that, I mean, I don't know, maybe you've, you've shown me how to copy and paste, but it just seems like there would be a better way to, every time I uh, open this up, I can put that in there. And there is. Okay, good. First of all, this isn't your logo, right? No, no, no. So no. we don't have a JPEG for it. No, it's just our title. That it's we just put a title top. that you put at the top of everything. Okay, you can record the steps, and every time you get ready to start a new file, mm -hmm. you can just run that recording. <gasps> and then you it. don't have to redo, redo, redo every time. You don't have to worry about that. And it's a lot easier than opening up a file that has it and copying and pasting it into another one, too. And this is capable of doing all sorts of actions. So any type of actions that you find yourself doing a lot, mm -hmm. you can record a macro for them and then run the macro instead. Okay. So we're going to look at macros. A lot of people get a little, uh, when they hear the word macro, but we're going to show you it can be very simple and easy to do. So let's open up a new workbook. Sure. All okay. right. Now, before we record a macro, I always suggest that you consider all the steps that you want to record because when you're recording, everything you do gets recorded. Okay. So if I accidentally click somewhere, it's going to be in the macro. Okay. It's wasted space in the macro. So what we often do is we just kind of jot down what the steps are ahead of time. All right. So you would, um, first of all, you have to decide, do I want the macro to run in the cell where I am when I start the macro, mm -hmm. or do I want the macro to select the cell? Okay. So let's just assume that you click on a cell and then you want to run the macro. Okay. Let's go with that. All right. So we're already in the cell. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you do? Type in Donut Fiesta Inc. So you type. And then what's the next thing you're going to do? I make it 20-point uh, font size. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger. And then I make it pink because our colors are pink and orange. So you change the font size. You change the color font color. And then I change the background color to a light orange. And you change the fill color. Okay. And then the last thing I do is I do a merge and center so that it is over five columns. Okay, then you merge and center. And that's it. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it just is kind of irritating that I have to do it every time. Okay. This gives us our steps, mm -hmm. so we have them ready to go. Okay. And let me just show you where we're going to go to record this. Okay. Up in your ribbon there mm -hmm. is a view tab. So come all the way to the right, the view tab, and you'll notice all the way to the right on that tab is a little group called macros and it has just one little button there, okay. macros. Mm -hmm. If you click on the drop down you'll notice that there's a view macros and a record macro. If you have macros you've already recorded, you can choose that. So if you inherit a spreadsheet from somebody and you're not sure if they put macros in there, this would be a great place to go check. And say, okay. okay, did they put anything in here? We're now, now, aren't macros bad if they come in a file? Isn't that um, a bad thing? No. Oh, okay. No. I've always heard that don't open up a file that has macros in it. No, um, where they're talking about there is when you're not sure of the source of the file and you maybe have a virus or something along those oh, lines. Okay. I, mean, okay. I saw one time a virus, luckily I didn't get it, of a macro that ran a train across the bottom of the screen. So That's actually kind of cute. It is kind of cute. <laughs> the person thought it was funny for a while until the train kept running. So, <laughs> but anyway, so let's go to record macros. And you'll notice you're going to give your macro a name. So what would you call this typically? Um, well, it's just a title, so would I do maybe Donut Fiesta title? Whatever works for you. Make sure you don't put any spaces in your title, though. Yeah, underscore works good instead of a space. Okay. And then you can create a shortcut keystroke oh. to run your macro. Okay. So what might work for you here? Control. T for title. Okay, control T might be taken. Okay. Let's just type a T in there and see what it does. All right, let's see. All right, it doesn't seem to be taken. It seems to be 
okay with that. Okay. Now, it could be control. If control T is taken, you may be removing something. But have you ever used control T for anything? I have not. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that's the other thing to keep in mind. Now, notice you can store the macro just in this one workbook. But it sounds to me like you're using this in a lot of workbooks, right? Yes. So if we choose new workbook, then it's going to appear in any new file you open up. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, I think I would so like let's that. choose that. And if you want, just to remind yourself, you can put a description down there. There you go. Now, when we click OK, we will be recording. Okay. All right. So we're going to be recording in column A, cell one. All right. Ooh, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's okay. We can actually always start over or if it's not if it's a minor change, we can go in and actually edit it. Okay. Okay. So let's click okay. Now, if you look on your screen down at the bottom, remember that we looked at this area early on in the status bar and it tells you what status you're in in your spreadsheet. Yes. We're in ready status, but there's a little box next to that and it says a macro is currently recording. You will click that when we're done. So right now we want to type in, because we're in the cell where we want it, so you're going right. to type first. Okay. And then you want to click back on that cell. Okay. And you're going to change your font size. And the next thing is you're going to change your font color. Ours is a pink color, so I have to jump into this guy right here. All right. Okay. And then you're going to change your fill color. And the only thing left is the merge and center. All right. And we're done, so we have to turn off our recording. Where do we do that? Uh, down here. Okay. Now, I noticed you did something I didn't think to tell you. You clicked in the cell right below that. That's where it will end. So your active cell will be A2 when you come out of there. And okay. Okay. Well, I just did that because sometimes it doesn't look the same if it's selected. So that was okay. luck on my part. Yeah, there you go. So let's <laughs> click there. All right. And we've stopped recording. Okay. Now, open up a new workbook. And it was Control T. Control... T. Control T. And there it is. <gasps> it happened so quick. <laughs> it does. That is awesome. I love that. And that's the simple way to record a macro. Now, I noticed something about this. Hmm. This is a, um, a smaller font size. I must have picked the wrong thing. So, um, can you show me how to fix that? You sure can.